The mother of a toddler who nearly died is pleading with the Honolulu Police Department for a more thorough investigation into her son's injuries. Chelsea Valiente believes her son Peyton was injured at a daycare run by the wife of an HPD officer. Today, for the first time, Valiente was able to speak with the department's top brass, including acting chief Kerry Okimoto, telling them her family deserves more answers about what happened to Peyton. Bridget Namada follows through. Bridget? Joe, the Valiente family did not like the update HPD gave the police commission over the investigation into their son's injuries. Acting Chief Kerry Okimoto said while policies and procedures were followed, he's disappointed in how long the investigation into the 2015 case took. He says there isn't enough evidence at this time to make an arrest. The Valiente family sat quietly while HPD's top brass updated the commission on the investigation behind their son's injuries. HPD brought in new investigators for a fresh set of eyes to look into Peyton's injuries, but reached a roadblock. Because of the pace of the 2015 investigation, witnesses or potential suspects had hired attorneys and were no longer coming forward voluntarily. When it was her time to speak, Chelsea fired an emotional plea directly at Acting Chief Kerry Okimoto. And to say the least, uh, we're very disappointed. We're very disappointed. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and as far as an update saying that, oh, there's nothing else that can be done, there's always something else that needs to, that can be done. Valiente urged HPD to find out who is behind her son's serious injuries that put Peyton in the hospital. I'm not too sure how many of you are parents here, but to know that my son will never be the same and have no answers for when he grows up and asks me, Mommy, how did I get this scar? I, I don't, I have no answers to give him. So please, do whatever you can and keep us updated. We'd really appreciate that. I just wanted to apologize on behalf of the police department to Peyton and your family. And if you could remain back, <clears throat> Somebody's going to come and talk to you guys and try and answer as much of the questions that you have, if you don't mind. We spoke with Valiente after the family's private meeting with HPD. We are cautiously optimistic on what, um, what, what can be done. So it looks like there, there might be at least one more option that um, the department is trying. And so we look forward to, we look forward to that. The police department is now taking a closer look into three separate cases because, according to Okimoto, he doesn't want what happened with Peyton's investigation to ever happen again. I'm still gathering information. I'll let you know what I find out. Bridget Namata, KHON 2 News.